how did you kill Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> because you, you... You're not in power, but you have all the power. Uh, Dr. Bodden, thanks for being here. Hey, good morning. Good morning. When did you realize uh, that the Epstein family needed help? Well, I was asked by the brother, the next of kin, to be at the autopsy. Mm -hmm. And at the autopsy on day one, there were findings that were unusual for suicidal hanging and more consistent with uh, ligature homicidal strangulation. Lexi, who's making this claim? Debbie's a forensic pathologist from New York called Dr. Michael Baden, and he says that the brother of disgraced millionaire Jeffrey Epstein asked him to sit in on the autopsy, and in doing so, he believes that the findings are more consistent with strangulation than suicidal hanging. At the time, he was found allegedly hanging by uh, a uh, homemade ligature of sheets. Are you saying you don't think it was suicide? I think that the evidence points toward homicide rather than suicide. Why? Because there are multiple three fractures in the hyoid bone, the thyroid cartilage, that are very unusual for suicide and more uh, uh, indicative of strangulation, homicidal strangulation. This bombshell claim this morning from Dr. Michael Barden, and he's a forensic pathologist hired by Jeffrey Epstein's brother to determine the cause of Epstein's death. Cause, hanging, manner, suicide. You say that his fatal injuries are consistent with homicide? More consistent with homicide. And in fact, at the time of the autopsy, the doctor doing the autopsy wasn't, uh, didn't think it was enough information to say suicide, so she put it well, pending further study. And then for some reason, and they want to know, uh, the family wants to know why was it changed from pending further study to homicide afterwards? Where to from here? God, I wish I knew. I mean, I have to start by saying I have enormous respect for Dr. Bodden. He yep. testified before me when I was on the bench in New Jersey. His wife is a prominent trial lawyer. She tried cases before me. I know them well and I've socialized with them. But this is sort of coming out of the blue, 80 days after the death yep. and 75 days after he observed the uh, autopsy and made the observations and conclusions that he revealed today. Um, so I, it's a head-scratcher. Well, if, can if it be opened is, up again? Yes. It can? Yes. But the way to open it up is to go to the FBI and say, where's the ligature? Where's the instrument that actually choked him? Um, it just doesn't make sense that the highest profile prisoner in America, you know, someone forgot to guard him. So uh, I want to understand, everyone wants to understand what really happened. We uh, were wondering whether or not this story is changing. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio agreeing with the famed pathologist Michael Bob that there is something, something fishy about the death of Jeffrey Epstein in prison. Well, certainly when you talk about where the financing came from, it came from the Epstein family. However, uh, let's not forget here, he is not coming out and saying it's a homicide. He is saying that the evidence that he saw at the autopsy, he was there with the chief medical examiner, and the three broken bones in the throat, as well as hemorrhaging in the eyes and deep marks around the neck, he says, are indicative of a homicidal action and not uh, a hanging.